And we are going to have uh, oil out here today, right? We sure are. So Let's this go oil market this. has been uh, struggling, folks, and neither <laughs> uh, in a, yeah. Right? Pretty amazing. Can't catch a bid no matter what's going right. on in the Middle East, no matter what is happening, because they're just uh, huge numbers of supplies that yeah. seems to be coming on the market right. on a continual basis. So we get crude EIA inventory numbers in 12 minutes from right now, 10.30 a.m. Survey number was looking, is looking for an increase of about 1.1 million barrels. What's going on with the whisper number, man? The market, not so much inclined to say that we're looking for the build that the survey number's looking right. for. 55,000 gallons, five barrels. Right? Yeah, 55,000, yeah. which is basically flat um, for yeah. that market. And let's pull up and see where we're trading at. So I'm going to go into commodities. I'm going to go into crude. I'm going to close these out as the market just climbs higher. I believe we just got a new all-time high print on the S&Ps we as did, well. We did, by 2,500. Not bad. So we got crude right now trading just a hair under $58. We're looking at the February contract. Uh, so what's nice is right away I know the 230s yeah. are going to have a daily limit in terms of we can get exposure from $58. I'm going to jump back to those in a moment because first I'm going to see where we're at on the 11 a.m. All right, so we have $58. This will give us a half hour after the news comes out for exposure. There's our bullish spread, 58 to 59.50. There's our bearish spread, 58 to 56.50. If we're buying the bullish, we're selling the bearish, looking at about $32. Um, now, just something to be aware of here. This spread, five, six, seven, it's closing a bit here, but there's a little bit of a bigger versus, there's three ticks, two tick bid offer spread on the bullish, and it was four to five to six ticks here on the bearish. Yeah, right? Right. That's a little bit, you just want to be careful when you're, you're paying that big of a bid offer spread, because um, they really matter percentage-wise. Oh, you know, yeah. If you're paying... And like I said, 32 about, so let's jump to the noons and see if we have a similar price. So we sure do. So those were the 11s. And what's interesting is, so for the yeah. 11 alone, you're paying 58.11. The contract's at 57.91. If you want an extra hour of exposure, they're going to make you pay about six pennies. Yep. Not bad, man, for an no, extra not, hour on one not. side. Even if you're just bullish, you're looking for a rebound. Not, and not the way back. the oil has been moving. Yeah. I mean, six pennies is like a... Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Um, so there would be a bullish spread. There's our bearish spread. Again, we're buying the bullish. That's costing us $19. We're out of the money. We're selling the bearish. That's costing us $21. We have about two to three pennies. Cents. Yep, so you're paying 40 cents for the noon. And then let's see where these big. Now, the difference here, of course, is that you only have a buck 50 of exposure for the 11 and the noon. You're going to get $5 of exposure. Now, normally, before all these geopolitical things. This is a 230. Yes. Right. Okay. And before all these geopolitical things going on, I would say very rarely are you going to get a buck 50 movement by 230 in right. either direction. But man, oh man, you don't know. There could be, ah. unfortunately, I hope not, you know, some tensions, some missile strikes, some, a reaction from Iran, a statement from the president. Uh, 58 to 63, you're buying it at 58, 26. You're out six pennies out of the money. So you're paying $26 for the bullish. Bearish spread. You're paying $29. The difference being you have a little bit of intrinsic value. Not bad. So you're paying, what, 50, cents, $54 yeah. um, for both sides of the market until 230 I like that trade, man. I really do. On a day where... Let me see where we're at. CL active contract is February. It sure is. That's what we're looking at. So just a okay. hair under 58 uh, look at so this is interesting because I mean, what should happen here? This has been you know this is major support right here. So okay, it's like well I I'd say you can get a little pop here you know so I don't think it's as bearish as you know I mean I think in the long term we're going to 55 50 bucks there but short term it looks to me like you get a little pop out of here. So let's see what we got. There. You want to look for a decline? Um, Where are we going? Yeah, why not? Might make it 55 negative or something. Sure, we'll yeah. go minus 55. Right. There we go. A little bit of a draw when yeah. the market seems to be looking for a little bit of a build. It looks to me like you get a little pop here. Yeah. yeah. And um, let's see, where's our gas? So gas inventory is coming out as well. What are the market? Market looking for a build in gas between about 3.2 million barrels to 4.8 million barrels when we get those numbers in about seven minutes from right now. Pretty wild. And pretty wild. We'll find out.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, crude. Crude inventories fell 2.5 million barrels. That was a draw, so right? So much for a build. Yes, yeah. coming in with quite yeah, a draw. should have went higher. 2.5 yeah. million barrels. Yeah, you should have swung for the fences on that estimate, yeah. right? Uh, so much less oil than the market was looking for. And that would usually say we're going to get a, a spike pop. in. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I was, was going to say, usually it would say we're going to get a spike in prices, right? Look at that. Um, but the market, man, no such thing as a bid in the price of crude. This says quite a bit. It man. sure does. So we get a draw of 2.5 million barrels, and the price drops from 58 to 57. And they were expecting a build. They were. Yeah, now you can go both. Yeah, the NLS estimate, look for a bid, somehow the whisper number. So there was sentiment moving to maybe not quite as build. You could you yeah. could almost call the whisper number flat. But nonetheless, decline of 2.5 million barrels, and the market says, we're still going south, man. Yep. Negative by about 25 wow. cents. Yeah. That's pretty intense. It sure is. That's, it sure there's is. No, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. That's actually amazing, right? And I guess we got a big build in gasoline also, right? Gasoline inventory is rising 6.68 million barrels. Yeah. And you know what? I bet... Distillate's rising 8.17. Oh, yeah. That's why this thing's going south, man. I mean... Yeah. Lots yeah, of gas. That's, lots of gas. That's that's pretty amazing. So actually. weekly crude because production. none of us are buying, you know, barrels of oil. Well, we're buying the distillates and we're buying gas. And look at how much there is. And maybe this is why the price is dropping. We have a record high weekly crude production coming from the U.S. So no matter what's happening in the Middle wow. East, man. 13 million barrels. 13 million barrels a day. Every a single day. day. Yes. <sighs> barrels Holy a day. Yep. Wow. That's bad. That's intense. I agree, man. I agree. That is amazing. Well, there Let's we go. Let's see what we got going on. Anything plenty, else? Yeah. Plenty, of, plenty of energy. So there's the print. Gasoline, 6.6. .6. The estimate was a rise of 3.2. Distillates, look at that beat. 8.1. Estimate was 1.6. Uh, and we'd, ha we'd have with distillates, folks, okay? The reason that that one is so important is that in the winter, that's your heating oil. Okay. That, that's the whole Northeast, the Midwest. Okay. If you have heating oil, that's what a distillate is. It's like, okay, but we can see this. We, you know, we were telling me last week it was 64 in Boston for a day. Well, sure. Guess yeah. what? No one had to put their, yeah. use their heat. And I think know? that was over the weekend. Everyone was out and about yeah, right. walking the dog in Central Park in New York right. for 64 degrees in January. Right. Uh, and that's, you know, the commentary just from Bloomberg and guess the market's focused on yet another large build in gasoline because despite yeah. the draw, crude futures are weaker on that number. So we'll check back in the, uh, in the hour for the remainder. But one more quick check because we know this market moves quick sometimes and it's continuing to drop 57.70 right now. That's got to be frustrating, man, if you are a bull. And I don't know why you would be a bull right. in crude oil right, right. now with what's right. going on. And maybe right. this will shake it off from you. But boy, oh boy, you get a, a miss by millions of barrels, and, uh, and the market says, nope, we're going south, man. So here you Yeah. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow up 151, Nasdaq up 41, S&P's up 8. We have uh, gold up 550, silver up 20 cents, and uh, no some bonds, man. They're not giving it up, so it's pretty wild. I'm just going to check back in on crude. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's continuing that drop, man. We touched 57.38, so we're trading about at $58, talking about 60, 65 pennies to the south. Uh, quite a level on the price of crude. And if you put this on a little bit of a longer time frame, now this is going to get a little funky, but there you go. We're at lows, man, going back to December. Uh, far cry from where we were just a week ago. It's amazing, man. Yeah.